One of the suspects in this case is from Georgia. The other is from New York. Both face felony drug charges. They were stopped separately on Interstate 77 in Iredell County, and police say they seized more than $2 million in marijuana. 51-year-old Feng Ming Li of Woodstock, Georgia, and 55-year-old Zaquan Liu of Brooklyn, New York, were arrested last Thursday by Iredell County Sheriff's officers. Both Lee and Liu were charged with felony counts of trafficking marijuana by possession and transportation, possession with intent to sell or distribute marijuana, and conspiracy to traffic marijuana. On Thursday, deputies with the Iredell County Sheriff's Office conducted two separate traffic stops on Interstate 77 southbound in northern Iredell County. During the first traffic stop, deputies spoke with the driver and only occupant, Zaquan Liu, who lives in Brooklyn, New York. The deputies deployed K-9 Bosco, who gave a positive indication to the presence of a controlled substance from inside the vehicle. A search of the vehicle was performed. 118 pounds of high-grade marijuana was reportedly found inside the trunk. After taking Liu into custody, and as this traffic stop was being concluded, the second vehicle drove by the deputies and failed to move over as required by law for flashing blue lights. Based on this unsafe action, the second suspect vehicle was stopped by police. During this stop, the deputies contacted the driver and only occupant of the vehicle, Zheng Ming Li, who lives in Woodstock, Georgia, suspecting that the two vehicles could be traveling together, K-9 Abbey was utilized at this traffic stop. Abbey gave a positive indication to the presence of a controlled substance coming from inside the vehicle. A search was conducted and the deputies found 138 pounds of high-grade marijuana inside the trunk, according to police reports. The estimated street value of the seized marijuana was $2,331,440 based off an estimated price of $20 per gram. Both suspects were brought to the Irondale County Detention Center, where their bond was set at $400,000 secured apiece. They were both scheduled to make first appearances in district court in Statesville last Friday. Reporting for WHKY-TV News, I'm Rob Eastwood.